Hello everyone, this is Anjali, a student of 12th medical of PSM Senior Secondary School and I'm here to give you all a tour of our school's biology lab. Our school has a very spacious and organized bio lab. We are provided with all the necessary equipments required to perform various experiments like isolation of DNA, preparation of slide or any kind of spotting experiment. As all the students fill into the lab, the first thing they get to look at is this display board which is updated regularly on the basis of all the new scientific inventions to keep the young aspirants intimated with the scientific world. And you all know that a pictorial representation is far more understandable for students than the textual paragraphs that they read in their books. Hence, various charts are hung around the lab for their better understanding. Like these two charts display pictorial representation of meiotic and mitotic division in animal cells. There are also various models prepared by students themselves placed around the lab, they are working as well as non-working. For example, this is the non-working model of excretory system and that is the working model of excretory system. We have this space where specimens of different plant and animal species are kept both terrestrial and aquatic. We also have 3D model of lungs, skull, eye, heart, ear, and teeth. Next up, these are the 3D models of embryonic development during gestation period for the, so that student can actually see what they cannot see. And these are the chemicals and stains used for different experiments like preparation of slide or isolation of DNA. These are the models of ecosystem and biodiversity showing different types of ecosystem such as this is of natural ecosystem and these are the artificial structures of uh, for example these are of beaks and these are of claws of the birds and these are collection of harmful insects which are harmful for crops which can affect them in agriculture and these are more different leaf structures more of different plant species. these two charts showing homologous and analogous organ for better understanding of concepts like convergent and divergent evolution. This is the sh chart showing chemical structure of DNA with different nitrogenous bases and base pair. chart which shows pedigree analysis through which we can determine the probability of an offspring being affected or carrier of a certain kind of disease their progeny can be affected in different generations. So that's all I hope you enjoyed the tour thank you.